Hello beautiful people and welcome to day one of the home workout challenge. I'm so excited you're doing this with me. Super excited. For day one we're doing a full body workout so this is gonna be, this is gonna be for real, okay? <laughs> As promised you don't need any equipment for this workout. We're gonna be doing a HIIT style workout including modifications for beginners, intermediate and advanced. I hope that you've read your booklets. If you've not received a booklet make sure that you've signed up for this challenge by clicking the link in the description box of this video and I will send you all the information you need to go along with it to figure out whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced and what that actually means when you are following along with the videos. The way this will work is that I'm going to do the workout but I'm going to describe what we're doing and explain how to do each move in a voiceover. Uh, the reason that I do that is because it's actually really important to do moves in the correct way because by doing things in the correct way we are going to get the full benefits of that exercise. If we do things with bad technique sometimes it can lead to injury, sometimes it can lead to just poor results and I really want you guys to get great results and not get injured. Please do listen to the voiceover if you're not a fan of it that's totally okay too you can just turn it off and follow along and just listen to your own music as we work out together if you're excited for this challenge don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and send it to a friend to invite them to do it with you without further ado let's get into the workout are you ready for some endorphins good vibes and exercise that's what we're doing okay all right, let's get straight into it, starting with the warm-up. So we're gonna do a two minute warm-up, just a nice little quick one, so try and stay with me here. Just jogging on the spot to start with, contracting those muscles, getting the blood flowing, getting a little bit, a little bit breathless as we just kind of switch everything on. Then let's do some heel kicks. So kicking the lower leg up, feet to the bottom, running on the spot with some heel kicks and relax shake it off we're going to do some big arm circles go so arms up back and over the head then we're going to reach down bringing the arms in between the knees and getting a nice hip stretch as we tutty down then back up reaching nice and tall and just repeat that a couple more times taking some nice deep breaths Tussy down, reach towards the floor and then we're going to bring it over to the side to stretch through the body. So I want you to let the arm on the side that you're stretching to come nice and low, reaching towards your feet, not falling forward or back, just straight over. Now some shoulder rolls, so we're going to roll the shoulders up and back and then the other way. So we're doing a full body workout today, so we're literally just kind of tapping into every body part right now <laughs> before we get into the more strenuous movements. And then some hamstring stretches. So I want you to bring one foot in front of the other and then just sweep, touching the ground, feeling that stretch in the glutes, the hamstrings and the calves. Try and reach towards the ground, swap onto the other leg, well done. We'll get ready to start the workout with the first exercise. So the first exercise that we're going to do will be a four-way pulse. So we'll be pulsing through a curtsy lunge, a wide leg squat, a front lunge and then a narrow leg squat. So in four different directions we're just going to pulse for three. For beginners I want you to just stick with a standard curtsy lunge alternating each leg and go. So wide leg squat, count for three, in front for three, and together for three. So intermediate and advanced, you can just follow the four way pulse. Beginners sticking with the curtsy lunge, making sure to keep good form. Um, so really intentionally squeezing the muscles, keeping the core nice and steady, making sure that you are keeping the weight through your heel. Okay, so I don't want any weight going through kind of the front of the foot. And as the timer comes to an end, just finish the set that you're on. And then we're going to have 20 seconds rest. And relax. Awesome. Well done. 
So the next move that we're gonna do will be that same one, just on the other leg. So beginners sticking with the curtsy lunges, so we're alternating legs when you're doing those. Um, intermediate and advanced, we're just doing that same movement, the four-way pulse, but on the other leg. Ready and go. Coming back into the curtsy lunge, pulsing for three, wide leg squat, front lunge pulse, a narrow leg squat. Make sure that when you're doing the narrow leg squat, you're really sitting back, weight through the heels, chest nice and lifted, squeezing the glutes intentionally. Beginners, this will start to burn. Try and keep your balance. Don't go too quickly through those curtsy lunges, so control the movement. If you're feeling off balance, you can try and keep the legs a little bit wider apart. Keep going, you're doing really well. Finish this rep and 20 seconds rest. Well done, awesome. So then we're going into good old trusty star jumps. Ugh, love these bad boys, but don't underestimate them. Um, if you do want a challenge, you can do star pops. So advanced, you're doing a star while in the air, nice and explosive, let's go. So star jumps, beginners and intermediate we're just doing normal star jumps if you're feeling advanced you can try out the plyometric star jumps that's taking your time coming down jumping up being as explosive as you can landing cushioning the fall as you land weight through the heels trying to get as much height as possible being a big a big uh, big firework you know just uh, keep it fun enjoy it <laughs> keep going just a few more seconds and rest for 20 well done next move we're going to do are some toe touches so um down on the floor weight on the limbs <laughs> alternating touching each foot beginners same thing but without moving the arms ready and go so try and keep nice and steady core engaged as you shift the weight Tapping the toe, alternate. If you can't reach your toe because of flexibility, that's totally cool. You can just touch your knee um, or your calf, wherever you can reach. Just try and keep it moving. For beginners, we're really just holding that weight in the upper body without doing the touches. So just kicking out the leg one after the other. 10 more seconds, you're doing really well. Try not to hunch the shoulders. And relax, well done, awesome. Next, we're going into some mountain climber burpees. So counting one, two, three, four, then jumping up. Beginners, I just want you to walk through the mountain climbers with a nice high knee. Ready? And go, so counting one, two, three, four, and then an explosive jump up. High knees, keep going. Try and jump as high as you can, keeping good form when you're down in the plank position, core nice and tight, weight of the body through the arms. Keep going, 10 more seconds, be explosive with the burpee. Beginners just keep moving through high knees and relax, well done. Awesome. Then we're moving on to twist and punch. So a wide leg squat, feet turned out, pulsing in that position as we twist and punch each side. So you want to stay nice and low. We're all doing the same move here, okay? Ready and go. So sitting back nice and low, you want to twist through, feeling it in the obliques as you punch each side. Now, please try and make your punches less pathetic than mine are. I mean, I, I really don't know what am I swinging my arms here. I'm not a boxer, you guys. But try and be powerful with the punch, keeping the pulse nice and low, feet turned out. You'll feel this in your quads quite a lot, actually, just because of the pulse that we're doing. Chest nice and lifted, twisting with the upper body. You're doing really well. I know it burns, but keep going. We can shake it off in five, four, three, 
and relax well done can you feel that i don't know i really felt that one in my quads is like oh okay okay we're serious next move we're doing high knee taps with a skip we have variations for this exercise so intermediates we're just tapping alternating while skipping advanced we are running through the movement beginners walking through the movement ready and go so the aim of this move is to get your knee nice and high and to tap the inner foot okay so knee high tap the inner foot the only difference in the variations is the frequency of which we're doing this so all of us all of us <laughs> need to be keeping good form okay chest nice and high core tight not arching the back lifting the knee up we're not bringing the upper body down to meet the foot we're bringing the foot up to meet the upper body elevate we always we elevate each other amen to that <laughs> and relax for uh for a minute actually so we're halfway now so feel free to like grab a drink um you know listen to a few tunes oh i should apologize for my dancing by the way you guys i was listening to some absolute tunes while i was doing this um to be honest my dancing did not look any better uh, when you can actually hear what i was listening to so that's probably for the best but yeah take a moment maybe take these seconds to let me know in the comments how you're finding it which variation are you doing which move have you found the hardest so far um feel free to stretch anywhere that's feeling a bit tight uh, if so yeah there's the dancing my goodness <sighs> don't say i don't treat y'all um but yeah we have a few extra second rests we have a few extra seconds of rest here because i actually messed up the timer so you're welcome and then we're going back in with the four-way pulse uh, for the intermediate and the advanced and then the beginners will be doing curtsy lunges ready and uh, go <laughs> ready and go so pulsing for three front lunge pulse for three narrow leg squat sitting back chest up and back into the curtsy lunge so really kind of burning out the legs with this movement control is very important chest lifted weight through the heels you don't want your weight to be falling through the front foot okay or the front of the foot rather and relax well done 20 seconds rest before we go into star jumps so simple star jumps for intermediate and beginners plyometric star pops for the advanced ready and go bringing the arms nice and high trying to get a faster frequency of the star jumps for the advanced you can keep it nice and slow i just want those star pops to be powerful like try and make an actual like legend of a star in the air as high as you can either way getting an awesome workout in with this movement keep going you're doing really well a few more and rest for 20 awesome now we're going to go back into the four-way pulse uh, just on the other leg so we've changed it up from the first set i'm going to pretend that was intentional and i didn't just mess it up and forget uh, <laughs> but don't worry it's like the same thing right it, it really doesn't matter so we're going to go back in with these ready and go curtsy lunge for three pulses wide leg squat for three pulses forward lunge for three pulses and a narrow leg squat for three moving through every direction try not to let this get messy i know as you get tired it can be tempting to get sloppy but no we're we're doing this with good form good form it matters it really does chest nice and high staying low with those pulses you're doing really well Beginners, keep going. I know it feels like you've done a bajillion curtsy lunges. You're welcome. <laughs> and relax. 
Next, we're going to toe touches. Beginner variation for this is to simply kick out the leg without touching the toe. Ready and go. Keep it nice and steady. Try not to wobble too much as we shift that weight in the upper body. We strengthening the arms, strengthening the shoulders. Try and keep the pace of this quite, uh, quite moderate, quite respectable, okay? Keep, keep pushing through it. You're doing really well, guys. Day one, day one, we did not come to play, okay? <laughs> and rest for 20. Well done. Awesome. Then we're going to do your fave, your fave mountain climber burpees. I actually prefer mountain climber burpees to just burpees because you do less burpees. So pleased about that ready and go one two three four high knees explosive jump in the air for the beginners we're just walking through that movement still getting a really good workout in the upper body and the core knees nice and high for everyone all right the knees knees up you know as an athlete that's something that I that is just my bread and butter high knees and um, keep going <laughs> keep working you're doing really well Try and make those jumps explosive. Get as high as you can. Only a few more. Keeping good form, core nice and tight. And rest. Well done. Next move we're going into is the twist and punch. So in that wide leg squat, sitting back, chest high, we're gonna twist through the obliques and punch to each side ready and go so showing you from the side i'm sitting back my weight is through my heels you should always be able to like wiggle your toes whenever you're doing a squat movement um, so weight through the heels please make your punches better than mine oh my goodness sarah come on come on gosh um yeah make your punches better than mine uh try and be more explosive with them not explosive with them but more forceful with them you know let, let people know Wagwan. Does anyone even say Wagwan anymore? Anyway, keep going. Just 10 more seconds. You're doing really well. I know you can feel the burn in your quads. That's okay. That's what we're here for. We did not come to play. And rest for 20 seconds as we move on to the next exercise. High knee taps. So skipping for the intermediates. So getting that rhythmic feeling advanced you're literally running through these sprinting so high knees with the toe tap beginners we're walking through the movement ready and go all of us need our knees high that's going to be a recurring theme <laughs> in this workout challenge getting nice and breathless tapping the inside of each foot opposite arm to opposite leg by the way guys otherwise you might fall over so yeah always opposite arm to opposite leg Keep going, chest up, you're bringing the knee up towards the upper body, not the other way around. You're doing really well, nearly there. A few more. And rest, you did it, well done. You've completed day one of the home workout challenge. You've done really well. Let me know how you found it in the comments and I will see you guys back here, same place, same time tomorrow. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs>